Thank you for tuning in. I want to do a how-to video that demonstrates pairing this GameSir T1D remote with Tello. Now, originally DJI shipped us this Tello to make it compatible with drone blocks for both iOS and Android. And when they did that, they also shipped this GameSir T1D. And recently I've received a lot of comments and emails asking if there is a remote that's compatible with Tello. Now the T1D is not easy to get at the moment. There are a few links to them online, but they're special order. I'll put a couple of them below. But I do want to mention that GameSir makes a T1S and that is not compatible with the Tello. So make sure it's the T1D. I believe it retails for $30. So fairly affordable, and in this video I'll demonstrate how to pair this with both an iOS and Android device. The reason I'm doing this is it's not completely intuitive, and I wanna share the process for setting it up. Two apps that are required during this process, make sure that you have the T1D upgrade tool. You can use that to upgrade the firmware that's available for both iOS and Android and also make sure you, of course, have the Tello app. What I'll do now is power Tello up, and it should be broadcasting a Wi-Fi network. I'll look for that, and we can see the Tello A96. I'll go ahead and connect to that. So while that connects, I will also turn on the game, sir, and just press and hold this for a couple seconds. You can see uh, the LED is blinking. Now here's the part that's not very intuitive. Initially I wanted to go into my Bluetooth settings on the iOS device and set up the pair, but you don't actually want to do that. What you want to do is go into the Tello app. So you can see we have a video feed, which is great. And I'm going to tap on settings. There's a Bluetooth controller settings. You can see that it says the GameSir T1D. I'll tap that and now we're connected. It's really easy as that, but if you're not familiar with how to go through the process, it could be a little bit frustrating. So you can tell that we're paired, my LEDs have gone constant. I'll close out of the Bluetooth controller settings and then let's go ahead and give this a test. Okay, I have Tello on my little launch pad. My iPhone is nicely docked into the game, sir. I'll go ahead and take off with this takeoff button, slide. We're hovering nicely centered there. I'll just yaw to the left. See that? Back to the right. Roll left and right. Tello's actually very responsive. This is a great way just to learn how to fly. Go up, go down. And let me demonstrate something else that's pretty cool. If we go back to our settings, Bluetooth controller, you can see there's a game controller diagram. And that shows us specifically some different button combinations that we can use for Tello. So let's just take a look at the uh, forward flip. It says L2, which is our L2 button here, and up, which is this gamepad up. I'll press these two together. It's a forward flip. Let's do a back flip. So I'll use the L2 and down. We can take a photo with the R1 button. So this guy right here. We've taken a photo, and if we want to take off and land, you can see that we can use the R2 and Y, so I'll just hit that combo, and then Tello will land. Now I'm back on the bench. Let's do the same process with Android. I'll go ahead and power Tello up. Android is a little bit trickier just from the testing that I've done to get connected. I'll go to my settings, Wi-Fi, I'll connect. See, we're connected. Now I'll go ahead and power up the T1D. So that's powering up. Then I'll go to the Tello app. Once again, there's a T1D upgrade tool, which is available for Android and the Tello app. 
And I do have to apologize. I've tried this several times off camera, but the uh, Tello app keeps crashing. It was working fine a couple days ago. I'm assuming that uh, Tello has released an app update that is causing all sorts of issues right now. So I won't be able to demonstrate how to connect with Android, but let's see, still doesn't work. But let me at least demonstrate uh, the problem that I ran into with Android. This is my iOS device, but I can still demonstrate that when you go into your Bluetooth controller settings in the Tello Android app, you may or may not see the T1D listed, so you'll have to go out a couple times. Then it will eventually show up and you might have to click three or four times to connect. Uh, there will be a little pop-up. It actually displays a message in Chinese that I am unable to read. But I was eventually, after three or four tries, able to get it to work. And it functions identically to iOS. Uh, just the connection is a little bit more difficult. So I wanted to share that as I've been testing drone blocks. And many have asked, what about just using a remote? This is once again, I believe about $30 retail. It's a great little remote. From what I understand, it's not compatible with any games. It's specifically designed uh, to control a drone. And it looks like based on the instructions that I saw, it's very specific uh, to Tello. Just wanted to share that how-to for those of you uh, that are interested in flying Tello with a remote. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.